you can clearly see here in the number five main bearing that this is the oil supply line to the bearing. And when we take this number five bearing out of here, we have this hole. So as I say, we really don't know what its function is. You've got, it just, I mean, when that main cap goes in, or the main bearing rather, goes in there, there's the cup, you can see the cup right there, right down that hole, sleeping peacefully. Um, the main, the uh, bearing shell, there's, it just cuts it off, it's a dead end, so I don't know, maybe it helps cool the number five main bearing, or maybe it increases or decreases helps with increasing or decreasing oil pressure along the uh, route for the oil not really sure but uh, it is a fact oil does come there and touch the number five bearing shell from here but it is totally blocked off um, by the by the uh, physical dimension of the shell and by the pressure uh, from the torque. There's there's no way anything's happening there This hole you're looking at where you can see the light That is the main supply For the number five main bearing That hole goes down and intersects the from filter oil passage To the vertical passage or at the top of the vertical passage is a fitting for the oil pressure line that goes to the oil pressure gauge. That's it right there. It's the first place that gets fresh oil from the filter. It goes to the number five main bearing and that is how it gets there right through this hole, that light is the intersection. This black arrow and the silver arrow points to where the dowel pins go to locate the cylinder heads. It, this, the machine shop can't deck the block with them on there. And sometimes they don't return them. So this is where they go and it's a good idea to take them out uh, because you may not get them back and that way you'll have them uh, some of this stuff is uh, you know second hand to most of you guys but there are newcomers and uh, they have to be included too but on the cylinder head right here where these arrows are is the hole where the dowel pins go as far as locating the cylinder head on the block you pound them into the block at the, these holes are big enough here on the cylinder head where they slide over and locate themselves. Here are the dowel pins. I went into my dowel pin drawer and uh, seems like I got three different sizes. These are 498, the shortest, 498 thou. These are 568 thou. And these are 625 thou. And they're all 312 thou in diameter. And these right here are for the timing chain cover to locate it on the front of the block. Now, the, the hole is 530,000 deep for you to be able to put over those dowel pins. And so, you, you, you know, you're going to 
if it's 535D, you don't have to have it that. I mean, you're not going to get that when you do the math on, on these, given their length. Uh, you know, you're probably only going to have, you know, maybe maybe 350,000 in there, or you know, you have to you have to figure it out. But you put them into the block, uh, and they should be in there at least 200,000. If you can get them in there a little more, you don't need much sticking up in order to, to, to locate the cylinder heads, you know. As long as they're in there a little bit, you know, I'll say 200 thou, 250 thou, whatever. You know, you just do the math, you figure it out, and you have to bang them in there. You don't want to bang them in too far, pretty hard to get out. But, um, yeah, just measure everything up, figure out how far you want them to stick up out of the hole, and go ahead and install them in the block after you get it back from the machine shop and it should be just fine it's not really a big deal as a side note no oil can get past the cup in either direction we proved that and we measured from the oil gauge fitting to the cup and it was eight and three eighths inches a viewer uh, commented and said that they used to get a measurement of eight and a half inches. We got eight and three eighths.